Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Oh, it's good to be back. It is nice um, not having to answer these classes anymore. This is so nice. I have so much free time. You're like, Cappy, what's with the life? What's with the original videos? I don't have to teach these finance classes anymore. I freed up an hour of my uh, hour per day of my life. Now I can do this stuff like this from NPRM, M, Minnesota Public Radio, not National Public, Minnesota Public Radio. Minneapolis company's fraternity leave, get it? It's like paternity or maternity, but it's fraternity because of the fur babies. I wasn't originally as agitated as the great one himself, Sin Lib Soch. Wasn't originally as agitated as himself. I saw some signs of fur baby rabies uh, with a couple friends of mine who are pet rescue people, but they're kind of only like, ah, you know, there's all shapes and sizes, all shapes and sizes. Eh, just a little weird, a little bit obsessive about dogs or cats. Eh, that's fine. Uh, but this term fur baby is not the term, but replacing children with pets and think, actually thinking it's your family that's crossing a line into mental insanity. And here's the latest. Here's the latest of Enjoy the Decline, guys. The sheep think it's cute. Ow! Oh! Fraternity leave. Those are the sheep. Those are the, this is why when 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 the, when the historians two thousand years from now, just as we look at Rome, say why did they collapse? Well, because they're slave dependent and uh, everyone wasn't working and they were bred in circuses. People go to look and say fur babies, mm -hmm. replacing children with pets. Pets don't produce GDP. When they actually thought that their do when dogs and cats had rights, and we're not talking. You know, animal right, like non-cruelty, but like they decided that you get you get insurance for the dogs, and dogs had voting rights. And wasn't there a horse that was uh, an emperor one time in the Roman Empire? That's where we're coming here. Minneapolis company's fraternity leave lets pet parents work from home. It all started with a new puppy. Nina Hale, a digital marketing company in Minneapolis. Digital marketing, okay, not a real thing. Although Seth Himes would disagree. Just introduced a policy that allows its employees who have just gotten new pets to work from home. They're calling it fraternity leave. Whoa. We so need a war. We just, we just need the Chinese to invade and put things back in perspective. The policy was inspired by Connor McCarthy, senior accounts manager at Nina Hale back in May. He had adopted a golden doodle named Bentley. Uh, he, he wanted to be there for him as the new puppy settled into his new home. <clears throat> I reached out to my direct supervisor and the lead of our team and just mentioned that I was getting a puppy. He said, so I just discussed if there was any way that we could have adjustments to my schedule to allow me to, be, to at least be with the puppy while still working. And of course, Connor is a millennial. He's at least employed. I can't complain about that. But, you know, I have a dog or a career. Can I, can I get this? Uh, Allison McMenamin is the Executive Vice President for Client Services at Nina Hale and McCarthy's team lead. She said that McCarthy's request was quickly approved and that it tipped company leadership off that fur babies were just as important to their employees as human babies. There you go. There you go. There. Not saying you shouldn't love your pets. I am pro-dog and pro-cat. I'm pro-animal. I would like to have a pet. I don't have one because I would not be able to appropriately raise it and tend to it uh, but they are not children we have crossed a line people we have crossed a line a line of sanity pets are not children all right I, I understand you love your I love my dog I love my dog pretzel and Louise and Twinkie uh, they're nice dogs loved them to death they weren't humans they weren't my children they weren't my siblings. They were our dogs. We realized that we had received these requests a couple of times, and we thought for so many of our hardworking, dedicated employees, there's an opportunity for us to reciprocate their dedication and give them additional flexibility when they're making a major life change, she said. 
Getting a pet is now a major life change. And in this case, instead of a human baby, it's a fur baby. See, this is this is progress. Okay, you want to talk about progressive? This is it. We now are going to treat dogs and cats, or you know, fish, or a pet crocodile, pet kangaroo, whatever you got. That's now a human. Three months later, the company rolled out an official package of company benefits, and fraternity leave was among them. Pet insurance, a pet in the workplace. I'm for pets in the workplace. I like pets in the workplace. They're catching on in today's work culture with many Fortune 500 companies offering pet insurance to their employees. <laughs> many more businesses are incorporating take your dog to work days. I'm for that. I think dogs should be allowed into public places. Under the schedules, Meneman said fraternity leaves are another step in helping employees start their families that I'm not even against fraternity leave. It's that you, you, you Orwellingly say it's family. It, it's not. It's a dog. A pro dog. It's a dog. These are matches. These are earphones or earplugs. This is a highlighter. This is one second more on here. And they're dogs. They're not kids. People are at all different points during their life, so for us it's about providing flexibility to people, however they define their family. I have a pet tree, can I get can I get leaf leaf? Leaf turnity. Leaf leaf turnity, because I have a pet tree out back. Can I get leaf paternity? I planted a tree. Can I can I go at home and water my tree and spend quality time with my tree? even if it's not formal paternal leave. Ultimately, she said it's all about keeping employees happy and in turn productive. I, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to recognize that happy, healthy employees produce really good work, she said. So for us to get the results we need for our clients, we need to make sure our employees are taken care of. It's pre-linear, she added. I, yeah, you know, you want to give them time to spend time with their with their pets, but don't call it family. Don't call it, see, that's, that's you, 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 got, you sold me about 80% of it. But when I see the lens you guys are looking through this, you actually think it's a family. You actually think it's it's a, you know, a child. As for the puppy that started it all, McCarthy said that working from home really helped him connect with Bentley. I think it was great. Within a couple weeks, he was potty trained. I was able to help out with that, McCarthy said. He was a lot more at ease. You could tell he was getting used to being in his new environment because he had somebody there with him. Throughout the first week, Bentley's name was misspelled. Oh, yeah. that is an ugly dog. I don't like hairy dogs. All right. <clears throat> Let me explain to you kids what's happening here. For those of you that still have your sanity. What is happening is that we are substituting pets for children. Uh, because we've loaded up millennials and Gen Xers with a ton of student loan debt. We've put the career... Uh, as the ultimate primary per goal and purpose of life, especially among women. So whereas I, I would speculate, I would guess that you will see <clears throat> um, younger people, millennials and the like, going with paternity leave, having fur babies and whatnot, uh, primarily because they're debt laden and they can't have kids. Whereas the older Gen Xer women uh, are going to have fraternity leave, and they're the most adamant. Fur, fur babies is predominantly, you, you'll you stereotypically see them with older Gen Xer type women who are single. Uh, that is more because they put their career first, and frankly, it's almost too late for them to have kids uh, for the vast majority of, of Gen X uh, children. Now, <clears throat> the reason for that, we could say is, okay, they're debt laden if they're younger, they put their career first if, if it was all right, but ultimately what it boils down to is when you start claiming, like you actually think your pet is your child and you start to view it as an actual human member of the family, the reason you're doing that is because it's easier than raising children. Genetically, at some level, you wanted to have kids. But frontal lobally, that's not a word, but we're going to go with it, you made the investments in the mistake and you don't want to work and put in the hard work that's required to raise kids. So you have as an easier substitute a pet. 
doesn't cost as much. You don't have to raise, you don't have to go through childbirth. You don't have to give up your career or actually sacrifice your career on one front. <clears throat> it's easy. It's a pet. Again, you know, we're predominantly women prefer cats because they take care of themselves. You don't have to sacrifice anything else. It's also in this place to not the millennials who I think are getting pets and just think it's cute to call fur and this is the family because they're debt laden and they can't afford kids. But to speak to the rescue fanatics, the ones who truly that the, the came up and termed the fur baby, you actually think of it uh, uh, as a member, as a human child member of the family, uh, it's easier than having husbands. It's easier than has be, having husbands. Because to do it right, if you really want to raise a child and actually have a human being as a child, an actual son or daughter, uh, you have to find a guy who's quality. And he'd have to be able to stick around. Not a surrogate, what a non, not a one-night fling, not a look at me, I'm a strong independent woman, Julia, and yet I require government assistance every step of the way, especially to take care of my child. Um, if you want to skip that annoying, difficult, I'll admit this, it's, it's very difficult to find a quality spouse, absolutely very hard to find a husband. You can bypass all of that by getting a fur baby. You can skip it all. And... And you don't actually have to put forth the effort or the work of raising a real child, because you could adopt. You could adopt a real human being, but you don't have to. You got a fur baby. It stays at home. You put it in the kennel. If it's a cat, especially a cat, you just give it some food. It lounges around, doesn't really love you. It'll eat you if you pass away, because cats don't have hearts. They, they're little demons from hell. Uh, it is a painfully obvious bit of proof and evidence that people are too damn lazy and too self-centered to actually raise some fucking kids. And instead of just admitting, it's like, yep, you know, hey, old Cappy's been honest with you this entire time, right? Don't want no children. Had a vasectomy, gosh, 10, 12 years ago? Could not barely afford to take care of myself. Ain't gonna bring no kid into this world. At least I'm honest about it. At least I'm honest. I don't go and then run off to find some substitute. And even if I got a dog, I would not cross the line of sanity and call it a child. If I said fur baby, it would be kind of like, yeah, it's my fur baby or my fur kid. I would not think of it as my actual child. I would not think I have an actual family. I wouldn't introduce people, this is my son. Oh, what did I name my dog? Hound. I always thought it was cool there was a John Wayne movie where he named his dog Dog. I could name my my dog Hound. I'm like, hey, this is my dog. I would not say this is my, say I did it naturally. This is my dog Hound. I would not say this is my son Hound. Uh, this is my daughter Mittens. Uh, this is my dog uh, Hound and this is uh, the cat Mittens. Because I'm sane. Because I don't live in the delusional world of chintzing and cutting corners. If I want to have a family, I'll have a family. If I want to have a pet, I'll have a pet. But, predominantly, uh, women my age, your gener Generation X women, who were putting their career and their education first and foremost, uh, inc incurring debt along the way, never had the time or the money, nor the willingness, the willpower to actually go forth and put together an actual human family. And so now the next best thing is the substitute. <clears throat> you get... A substitute of a quasi family without having to put forth the effort and sacrifice and selflessness and altruism to get the real thing. They're just too self obsessed. So, what we are really witnessing here, ladies and gentlemen, is we are witnessing the Gen X spinsters manifested, evolved, materialized. This is what is happening. This is merely an anecdote. This is just one more bit of data. It's gone all the way back to the gals back in there early to mid-30s, decade ago, where they're like, I'm with I'm with this dog rescue, I'm with this cat rescue, I'm with it, that rescue, and again, not against it, but, you know. But when you meet these people, and they have four dogs and seven cats, and all they do is talk about it, and then they start referring to them as their children, this is Gen X Spinsters manifested. This is Gen X Spinsters materialized. This, this is a thing. It's just now we've, we've, I don't even think spinsters of the past actually viewed their cats as children. 
Now we've continued the delusion, the insanity, the craziness that, oh yes, these are your children, and now we have confirmation from uh, independent entities, in this particular case an employer, says, yes they are, those are your children. There's no convincing them otherwise. There's no fooling them. I mean, by the time you're 42 and you actually think your dog is your child or your cat is your daughter, um, you're, you've, bought, you've bought the funny farm. It's gone. You're, you're, you're beyond salvation. I am pointing this out for the rest of you who know that a dog is not a human, a cat is not a child. Right? And, and no matter how many you have, you don't have a family. So, beware out there, young boys and girls. And for those of you who are younger, Again, nothing wrong with getting a cat, nothing wrong with getting a dog, nothing wrong with loving them. Absolutely. Pets make, make life uh, wonderful. They are not your family. They are not humans. They are not your children. No matter if you get insurance from them from a Fortune 500 company. I know one gal, she was trying to get her cat, like, was it a kidney transplant? I'm like, <laughs> this, this sad woman, it, it's actually a sad, tragic story. She spent over $6,000 keeping this poor cat alive. And not only did the cat die, she died as well, I think, of was it cancer or kidney failure or something like that. Um, and that's all she had was this dying, in-pain cat the entire time. This is the path of insanity and misery that it leads to. So I'm not saying, don't get in their way. Don't stop. By all means, yes, you get your fur baby. Fur baby out. Fur baby to the max. Yep, that's your son. That's your kid. I 100% agree. There you go. You know, these gals, they're starting to marry themselves. They marry their dogs. Kind of all the same thing. They want to they wanna have the wedding, but not actually get the man because it takes effort. And raise the kids because that takes effort. Starting to see the craziness. Now they want to actually believe that they have a family. They actually want to believe that they're married, right? Just pointing out the insane, because they're not going to listen. They're not. I'm just trying to point out, yes, they are insane. Look out for these people. Any girl that says, I have fur babies. This is my son, Rover. You say, oh, thank you. Don't lose eye contact. Back away very slowly, very slowly. Close the door. Once it latches, then sprint and run away. All right. Ra-ra, Gen X spinsterhood. You go, girls. Fur baby all the way. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.